All right, before we continue, we're going to make sure we save our document. All right, two ways we can do this. We can either click on this save button right here, or we can go file, save as. So I'm just going to save this on the desktop with my other stuff. Let's just call this um, Tableau Workbook, right? And you'll also see that the extension for the file is .twb, Tableau Workbook, right? So we go save, and at the top, we should now be called Tableau Workbook. Okay, so now you can open it, close it, right, anytime you like, much like everything else we do with uh, computers these days and programs, right? So in this video, we're going to show you, well, not we, it's just me in this room, um, how to do labels, colors, and tooltips. So what are the differences? Well, I'll show you what a tooltip is. You see how there is nothing, actually, maybe I shouldn't zoom. Oops, uh, how do we get out? I'm still getting used to this zoom tool, right? See when I hover? right? It comes out with this little message. That is the tooltip. And you can customize what that looks like. So I'm going to show you an example. Right now it says segment profit ratio, right? But I kind of, I want to customize this. So what I do is I can click here on tooltip, right? So go ahead and click that. And it's going to come out with this kind of Microsoft Word looking thing. These ones which have like the gray and the greater than, less than symbol. These are kind of like dynamic fields. It will fill in with whatever the value is, right? And to see a preview of that, you can actually click on this button right here, right? And it'll show you a preview of what it looks like. So for example, if I just type anything here and I go preview, see how it's changed in my data set, uh, in my tooltip, right? So we can actually change this. One of the things people like to do is they go in this segment, the profit ratio is such, right? And let's make this all black, all black with a get and a lack, lunatics in the street. So I was listening to a lot of rap music. So now if we do preview, you see how it's changed, okay? And everything's bold. I don't want that to be bold. Let's get rid of that. So we can also change, obviously, the formats, right? Underline the size, the what do you call this, the justification, right? And we just go, okay. So now when I hover, you see how it's changed. So you can really get that kind of behavior that you want. Now, instead of hovering, what if, like, I wanted to know these numbers ahead of time without actually hovering, right? Because I don't know all three values right now. So I can introduce a, a, um, a label, right? And the way you do that in Tableau, which has a lot more freedom than it does in um, Excel, in that, you don't have to put the value of what the pie chart is, right? So I can actually put something else. This is based off profit ratio, but maybe I don't want to show profit ratio on top. I can want to put sales on top. So I can just grab sales and drop it into here on label, and it will show label, right? And you can show as many things as you want. I can do sales per customer. I can do profit per order. You can, whatever you want. You can put product name, right? Oh, but that's going to start changing it. So product name, you can put segment, whatever you like. Okay, and it will just keep doing it. But we want it to be a bit more, right, pie charty. So here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to add in segment. Okay, so we're going to look for segment. Now, if you have a big list, you can actually use this uh, search function right here, this little magnifying glass, right? So if I click that, I can go segment, okay? And I can grab segment and drop it in label. So now I have a label. Right. We also want to drop in the profit ratio. So let's go grab profit ratio, right? And we can drop that in label as well. Now, one thing the pie charts pretty much always want to show is what is the percentage? Okay. So I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. There's a few ways you can do that. You can click on size and just increase it, right? Maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, like that. And we want to, right now it's just filling out this section. So I want it to fill out the entire thing. And you can use this button up here. Okay, so I'll be teaching these little things along the way, right? So we go entire view. So now we get an entire view, maybe not so big, okay? Right, and I want to have that as a percentage. So here's the way I do it. If I get this first label, I want to go right click, quick table, percent of total. That's it. So now I've got percentages, as you can see. But if I'm like, oh, I still want to have that profit ratio in there. Yeah, well, let's just add it back in. So we grab profit ratio. And go label. Now notice these are now two different items. Okay, this little tri uh, hang on, lost it. This little triangle means you've done what's called a quick table calculation. So the percent of total is a quick table calculation. 
Okay, so that's now a text label. And you can see what kind of thing it is because you've got these symbols here, which matches up to this thing right here. And again, like the tooltip, I can customize this, right? So if I click on label, okay, then I'm going to go to these three dots, okay, I can change what this looks like. So if I go and make this maybe 12, bold, let's make, let's swap these around. So I'm going to just cut, so control X, or it's probably easier, you highlight it and you just click and move it, right? See, I got that little cursor, little trick, right? And I'm going to put that at the bottom. So now I can preview that. That's what it looks like. Consumers may be a bit too big. Let's go 11. Right? So that's what it looks like. Now let's say I'm doing this and I go, oops, I accidentally deleted it. So the way to bring it back is if you go insert, right? you just look for the one that you lost. Yeah? And you go, okay. So now it's changed. There you go. That's how easy it is to control your text and your labels. Right? That is this part here labels, tooltips, we're now going to cover this part, colors and size. So let's go over to maybe a different one. Let's do maybe this one. This is a good one, right? Now, what you notice with this graphic is that everything's blue. But the way humans read is we don't actually read tables very well um, with the human brain. Do you know why? Well, because hundreds of thousands of years ago or whatever, how long humans have been around, there weren't Excel tables in the forest you know, or in the plains of Africa or wherever it is uh, humans were. The things that we're able to recognize are like color, movement, orientation, size, right? That's what we're really good at reading. Like if I didn't even give you a number here, you would still know that our France is larger just because by size. But if I did something like this, I go, which one's the largest? It takes you a while, okay? Because we're not good at reading numbers, right? We're good at reading shapes. Okay, that's the largest. Now we can make this even better. Okay, we can even add more color. So one of my favorite things to do is, for example, if I've got sum of quantity up here, I want to use that value to color these things. Okay, based on the sum of quantity. So I'm going to look for sum of quantity, and I'm going to grab that and drop it into color, right, which is right here. And as you can see, it's now colored it highest to lowest with the darker the blue, the higher the value, right? But for me personally, that's one single color. I need contrast, right? I am a 2019 man, I need contrast, okay? So there's two ways I can change this color. I can either double click on this, right? Or I can click on color and go edit colors, right? So we'll do the first one. I can double click here, right? And this will bring up this little window. Or I can click on color and go edit colors. Okay, same thing. I'm going to bring that over. Uh, oh, it doesn't really matter where I put it, right? Now, from here, you can either pick your own color, okay, if you have company colors or a brand or something, or you can go into the palette, right, and you can pick ones that are already preset. My favorite, right, is red and black. Now, if you're Australian, it's not because I go for the Essendon Bombers. Shame on you. I go for Richmond Tigers, so hopefully you don't leave the course because of that. And depending on what the numbers mean will determine whether I want the red on the low values or on the high values. So for example, if this is customer, if this was like customer complaints, I want the more complaints means bad, which means I want to reverse these colors, right? So I can just click on this, right? Or I can manually set them just clicking on these shapes, right? But really I want to reverse. So I want it that the, the higher the number, the worse it is. So if I go okay, I can see straight away like you probably noticed that as well, these three just jumped at you. You didn't really have to think about it. It just was like, whoa, look at this, right? But then the opposite is true. Let's say high numbers are really good, low numbers are bad. So let's go reverse, go okay. So now we can see all right, these ones are seem to be the worst, right? And that's how you introduce color. Now, in addition to that, you can do a few other things. Like if I click on color again, you can change the opacity. Right? This is really good once you get up to like dual axis and stuff. You can put a border, right? which I don't recommend. Less lines is better. Um, once we get up to the stage of you know, best practices with data visualization, you kind of want to have to, you, you kind of want to strip away everything. Right? You don't want to have too much stuff. So for example, um, I don't need this region. I can get rid of that. Right click, hide. Right? Um, and what I like to do as well, access is good, but like in that previous example, why don't we just put labels on top? So I can grab that quantity again and drop it into label.
All right, so now I've got the label. I mean, how easy is that, All right? So now I've got the labels. And the rule is either you're going to have labels or you're going to have access, one or the other. You don't need both. So we can get rid of one. So if I right click here on the access, I go show header. So we don't want to show header. And now we have our data, right? That's a lot simpler to look at. You know, there's less happening. And if I wanted to show this because we're looking at colors, right? Or maybe we should change the color to like, you know, most sales. So let's say I'm going to go, um, where is it? Red, green. Okay. So the more sales you have, the, the greener. So if we go OK, so now we can have that. And I want to sort this highest to lowest. A few ways I can do it. I can use these buttons, right? Or I can sort from, uh, is it from here? I think it's from here, right? So I can go, this is probably easier. Right? So I can sort highest to lowest. So again, you're, it's all the where the shapes are and everything. So I mean, data visualization, I can talk about it all day, right? But those are basically label, tooltip, and color. And the last thing I want to show you is probably just size, which just changes the size of these things. So if you want them a bit thinner, all right, you can make them a bit thinner. If you want it super wide, you can make it super wide, up to you, right? But it's it's all just a few clicks away. Remember, like, we, we haven't even done formulas yet. We haven't even touched the keyboard yet, right? That's the difference with this kind of technology. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you at the next video.